suppose data has always been used in some way. Uh, it's just about the accuracy and the amount of data has been used these days in terms of not only measuring um, people's performance, but also effectiveness as well. And that's becoming more and more. Selection has always been an element of team selection, for example, uh, subjectivity involved. But what this does is bring a bit far more accuracy and substance to why you've made decisions in terms of selection and performances. You know, um, the number of meters made, but what was the context behind it and so on and so forth. Tackles, you know, how much work you put in. You know, and, and when a coach can then sit down to a player and say, you haven't been selected because of, there's some evidence behind that decision. You know, and uh, what, what, what the current data, and it's moved on immeasurably from when, when I even So what, what kind of data were you using when you were playing? Well, things like ball in play time, for example. So that gives you an indication of what type of game you're playing. But even things like that, number of tackles, number of meters made, be- uh, de- defenders beaten. And those were starting to come in, we're talking in the uh, in the mid-90s. But it's gone on, in, you know, in what it, what it brings now. Even, even down to the nth degree, yeah. you know, sort of um, evidence. A lot of that uh, emanates from American sport, and they've used this element for, for years and years and years. And we've taken that as well, as, as, uh, as we're looking to... I suppose take out every sort of, of the, all the imponderables and try to make it as accurate as you possibly can. Mm-hmm.